even with this, he's like, I'll give you a DVD. And I'm like, yeah, other women get DVDs of their babies during their pregnancy. He's giving me a DVD of my broken uterus. <laughs> starting a little bit later in the day because I had to go do a drug test and that was not very exciting. Also, my appointment was at 1.30 and I decided to get up at 12.45 and somehow plan to edit and upload the vlog, take a shower, and make lunch in that 45 minutes, which was not even 45 minutes because we had to be there in 45 minutes. So let's just say we had to stop back by the house. Derek just finished watching these little cuties. <laughs> Today is going to be a good day. We have been, if you got, as you guys have seen, working so tirelessly on getting the house done, signing paperwork, doing pre-op stuff for my surgery, which is tomorrow, and I'm a little bit nervous, a lot bit nervous about it, and I'm just ready for it to be over. So, but today, I have something to ask you. What? Will you go on a date with me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We haven't had like a good sufficient date today in a while. So we're going to go see a movie. We're going to go see Suicide Squad in IMAX. I've never seen an IMAX movie. Well, you're in for a treat. <laughs> and then we are going to go to Universal Studios slash Islands of Adventure and we are going to ride Ray the Kong. Of King Kong. And hopefully some other stuff depending on how busy it is. So we're gonna try to make it to the movie theater. I'll show you, it's not very long of a distance but it's absolutely pouring outside. I mean, I guess we are outside but we're under this covering. There's a little bit of mist making it through that keeps hitting me in the eyeball but we have 13 minutes till the movie starts so we don't have a ton of time to just like wander around but I'm worried about this getting wet and this getting wet so we're gonna have to be really careful make sure we don't get anything ruined fingers crossed look at how big this theater is we're going upstairs to watch a movie are you excited I know. I've never seen an IMAX I'm so one. excited I've seen a couple of IMAX movies but not any like none that are like cool legit movies so I'm really excited I can't wait to watch it although I'm a little nervous we're like way Way up here, yeah, way up here. We made it. What'd you think? What'd you think? It was really good. And the, I mean, IMAX is really clear. It absolutely is. I don't know that I'd ever pay twenty dollars for a movie ticket for each of us to go see one, but that one was free. Yeah. But it was a really good. Movie. It was really good. I, just by the name of it, assumed it would not ever be anything that we would be interesting in seeing, interested in seeing. But then my dad was like, I think it's a little bit different than what you're expecting. So I'm glad we went and saw it. It was really, really good. So now we are on our way, I guess, into Islands of Adventure. Yeah, because that's where Randy Kong is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
do you think? It, it's a good one time ride. Yeah. I wouldn't wait for it again. I didn't find it phenomenal, but it's a cool ride. Yeah. I'm glad we did it once. I don't, I'm sure we'll probably do it again when people come down to come to the parks, those that haven't rid, ridden it yet. But yeah, we waited an hour. It was probably like what, maybe five minutes, probably not even that. I would say and it that. Was, it was very like 3D just looking at a screen, which yeah. I'm not a huge fan of. I can watch a movie at home. It was now like the outside of the ride and stuff like that. That was really, really cool. I was more interested in the queue oh, than sorry. I was. <laughs> like the queue was cooler to me yeah. than the ride was. So. Yeah. Oh well. You can't win all of them. So we are going to go. We've got to pick up my prescriptions for my surgery tomorrow and then we're going to go have some dinner. Welcome to the last seven minutes of my life <laughs> because in seven minutes I can't eat or drink anything until tomorrow afternoon so it's gonna feel like I'm dead not really the only thing that I had a hard time with when we were doing IVF was see she hasn't made a peep pull out the camera all of a sudden she has to bark about something Marie shh hush yourself the only thing that I had a hard time with when we did IVF was not drinking. I remember yeah. on our way up there and I was like thirsting to death. And then she offered me some, a pill of some form or I had to take something. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was a pain pill before my egg retrieval. And I just remember her being like, do you want this pill? And I, I was thinking, if she gives that to me, she has to give me water. So I was like, I don't care what you give me. I'll take anything. I just need a sip of water. So she gave me like this tiny little cup of water that was like half full. And she was like, just take a sip. You can't drink all of it. You can have the rest of it when you're done with your egg retrieval. And I remember tasting it and being like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> so I'm sure tomorrow's going to be the some of the same, but... I don't think that I spent enough time drinking water last time like I have tonight. I've been chugging water for the past 30 minutes um, to try to like make sure that I'm extra hydrated so that I'm not in a really bad yeah. place in a couple of hours. Because you love your water. I do love my water. She drinks a lot. I drink a lot of water, especially at night. Maybe that's why you have to get up and go to the bathroom so much. It is. But I just, I don't drink a ton of water during the day. I just drink it at night. But yeah, I'm really nervous about tomorrow. And I'm nervous about what they're going to find. I get um, a synopsis. At yeah, the we'll get, and he and said he that we get video. like, yeah, he's going to give us a video of like, before and during and after and he was like it's high def video and I was like I don't know that I want to see it I mean knowing me I will want to see it but it just sounded a little weird when he was like yeah I'll give you a DVD of like what the inside of your body looks like and us taking the endometriosis out and I always have a hard time like I always say when I go and have an ultrasound I'm like one of these days I'm gonna see something good instead of always getting bad news and it's like even with this, he's like, I'll give you a DVD. And I'm like, yeah, other women get DVDs of their babies during their pregnancy. He's giving me a DVD of my broken uterus. <laughs> I don't know. It just felt like a little bit of a slap in the face. Like, here, you're not having a baby on the inside of you, but I'll show you everything else. <laughs> hey, at least we get to see. So, we will see you guys in just a few hours. We'll see you on the other side. And um, we hope you're having a good night. We'll see you later. I have a confession to make. It's 10 after 12 and I just finished my bottle of water. 10 minutes after the cutoff time. Hopefully I don't get in a lot of trouble for this. I'm whispering so Derek doesn't hear me. I feel like such a rebel.